So we're debugging this LED sign. What it's supposed to be scrolling right now is a series of blocks, just like square blocks. And they're supposed to be uh, red, yellow, and then green. But what you're seeing is that the red is missing. So instead it looks like some jaggedy pieces of green instead of a solid block. So the way this thing works is there are these shift registers and they're connected in giant daisy chain and they get their data serially from this FPGA here. It's a little Altera FPGA. And you're just gonna have to take my word on that. I've already traced it back. So it turns out this guy is the first in the chain and his, his pin three, his serial data in here goes to this FPGA. And then it goes in sort of a daisy chain from there. So, um, let's see, actually I can probably demonstrate that. Well, not while holding the camera. I have, to, I have to take my word for it. But the way it works is each of these that are tagged with a, a blue marker control the green segments. And each which isn't tagged controls a red segment. And what I did is I hooked up my old uh, serial LCD here. And I've got it hooked up over here just so I can use the breadboard. I needed power, so then I, I pulled this guy down for the power. So I've got this uh, like robot guy feeding power into this piece of junk. So I can just breadboard out this circuit real quick. <laughs> and then I've got the input to that just hooked to this wire. So I've been, what I've been doing is I'll put the serial input on the input for like green uh, uh, shift register. And you see that it's actually changing around. It's like doing things. So it signals to me that there's data on those lines. Or the other way you can do it is you can actually visualize it by, um, let's see, where's my other, there he is. So you can visualize it really easily. So I'm just gonna stick like an LED on this guy. Doop. And you can actually see the data sort of. You can see that it gets a burst as it updates and then it sort of dies away. But if you come over to any of these ones which control the red segments, and you probe their data path, it's just nothing on any of these. So, figured out that the, the problem seems to lie with this guy here. He's the very last shift register in the green series, and he's supposed to be providing the input to the very first in the red series. If you look at his input, he's definitely getting input, but he's not providing any output. Uh, why? I don't know. Anywhere, that, that's where I'm at right now. And check back in later.